Hello, I'm Brigantia Blackbird of Blackbird's Brew. Happy Wednesday and welcome back to our journey through the tarot. Today we're going to be examining the Two of Cups. Uh, before we get started though, I want to apologize for the lateness of this posting. Yesterday I came down with the touch of the flu. I was very, very miserable and I was absolutely down for the count. And so that uh, disrupted the video recording schedule. But here today, I survived. It's going to take more than a flu, as miserable as it was to take me out. Anyway, um, as per usual, we're going to be looking at cards from the Housewives Tarot by, let's see, remember their names, Paul Keppel and Jude Buffum. There they are. So, let us start to Two of Cups. Uh, first impressions of this card. Uh, you can see the cute little vintage couple. They're kind of bobbling up from the champagne flutes. They're holding hands, gazing into each other's eyes. It's all very cute. And if you'll notice the color palette, it's very, very warm. I mean, look at that uh, punch that's in the, uh, the champagne flutes. Kind of this warm, orangey colors. And the couple's kind of a less saturated version of that couple. It gives a feeling of um, love, comfort, connection, you know, the literal warm fuzzies, and the, the expressions on their faces, that also conveys the idea of a very warm regard. So, now for our booklet. It has a couple of uh, handy-dandy words for us to pay attention to, uh, namely union, balance, and harmony, and I think you can uh, see that in uh, their posture and the way they're looking at nothing is, uh, no nothing is out of whack. Things are going in the same direction, and things are, uh, everyone's contributing their part. Things are good. So, what the book has to say about this is signifying the union of two people. The Two of Cups speaks of a happy balance between two parties, or even a reconciliation of opposites. It could be the beginning of a budding romance, or simply a well-balanced friendship. Just don't let the wine go to your head. Yeah, that's good advice, just generally. But when this pops up in a reading, uh, it could mean that your querent has a uh, new infatuation that's come into their lives, but it actually has the, enough substance and enough potential to become something more. And uh, acknowledging that potential, and then from, from that point, going into a mode where you can start focusing on forming a deeper emotional bond, nurturing it, allowing it to grow, that could be a sign that, uh, you know, this is a good person to have in your life, but, you know, you still need to, you still need to do the work. Don't allow uh, the initial attraction to, to lay all of the foundation. There's still work to be done on both parties, especially if it's something that's going to turn into a uh, long-term situation. Now, if it happens to refer to a friendship for the querent, it signifies uh, this is someone who's more than just a, a common acquaintance or just someone that they happen to get along with or, you know, a work acquaintance, you know, you know your work bestie. Ever, anywhere you work, you, it's always so much easier to get through the day if you have someone that you're just kind of in sync with and you work well together. This is something that's more than all of that. And it is certainly a signal that uh, this particular relationship could be in your life for the rest of your life. And uh, lastly, if it is referring to uh, the ideas of reconciliation or a union of opposites, it does indicate that there's enough of a common core to be uh, binding together either concepts or individuals. It might be a challenge to continue moving in the same direction. And it's an active dynamic, promotes growth, but you know, you're going to have to remain mentally, emotionally, and physically engaged in order for things to continue along a healthy track. Otherwise, you can... Uh, Land yourself in a world of hurt, but that is the essence of the Two of Cups. If you'd like to talk more about tarot, uh, please come visit me at Blackbirds Brew on Discord. There's a link to join in the description box below. And of course, if you would uh, subscribe to this channel, leave a comment, like the video, I would really appreciate it. So uh, that's it for now. See you in the next one. Bye.